Hello, and welcome to Kids of Baldur's Gate 5-Minute Update. I'm here with Cornelius. We're talking about uh, your experience. Uh, I hear that you have met a man named Peter. Yes, I have. Very good friend. We've talked about Peter in some of our other interviews. Um, wh what did Peter say to you? Well, you see, Peter uh, is a Jew, and uh, he p was out talking about this wonderful person named Jesus. And, of course, you know that uh, as a good Roman citizen uh, and a, a lover of all people, I tried to help and care for as many people as I could. So I would often give money to charitable organizations, people in need, and whatnot, and I had a vision that I should seek out this Peter, that he and I would be like-minded. And once I met him, he told me about this wonderful person named Jesus. And right then I knew my calling. I needed to follow in the ways of this Jesus. So Peter helped me. Interesting. Interesting. And, um, what, well, did Peter say anything special to you? Not necessarily. Um, he just uh, saw my good works, and, and I wanted to get closer to this Jesus, and uh, he uh, asked if I wouldn't mind uh, going through this ritual called baptism. I had never done this before, but uh, he said it would wash me anew, and I would be a new creation. And so, of course, me and my family all submitted to this baptism thing that he he, he admired. And I must say that after it, I did feel like a, a new person. So let me get this straight for our viewers. You are a Roman citizen. Yes, I am a Roman citizen. I am a centurion. My father was a centurion. And I have always uh, upheld the rights and important things of Rome. Now, a, centur a centurion is, you go to battle. Yes, yes, we must defend uh, the, from the evil hordes that try to uh, come after us. And Peter is a Jew. Yes. Who follows Jesus. Yes. And Jesus, uh, you and Peter both had visions to meet up with each other. Correct. My news brain, how, how does God speak to two different people, a Roman and a Jew? Well, I can't speak to all the mysteries of, of God, uh, though I do believe in a one, one God. Most of my friends, they, they worship multiple gods, but I believe in there being one and only one true God. So I can't speak to all the mysteries of, of that, but... I can tell you without a doubt that I received a vision and after talking to Peter that he received a vision. I guess it's just the way that uh, our God works in mysterious and wonderful ways. Because God wanted you to meet Peter so that Peter could tell you more about Jesus. Correct. And by him doing that, I became a part of the family of God. Now, did you believe in God before you met Peter? I believed in God, yes. Uh, I would often help people. Um, I thought it was the right thing to do. Like I said, many of my uh, fellow centurions prayed to multiple gods. I thought this was rather foolish. Uh, so I don't really, I can't really name the God that I believed in, but Peter helped me realize who that was. I see. I see. Now, will you tell others about the one God yes. that, that Peter yes. talked to you about? That was part of the, uh, the important thing that Peter told me was that yeah. now that my life has been changed, it is my responsibility, just as it is Peter's, to go and tell of my experiences and to share God's great good news with other people, to help people in need and to show that God is a God for everyone, regardless of who you are or what background you come from. 
everyone, including our viewers. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I see. I see. I see. Including me. Yes, yes, absolutely. If you would like, I would love to pray with you now. That would be wonderful. Great. Let us pray. Oh, great God, you have given us so much and so many wonderful things. I pray now your blessings on this young lady, that she would know you as I do. Let her go forth and share your good news that she has met you. Amen. Amen. I'm a little rusty. I'm not as good as Peter, but I I'm working on it. Now, do I need to do anything special? No, just uh, simply accept God into your heart, and that's pretty much it. You could go through that silly ritual that Peter had me do, get baptized and all, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I see. I see. But I can tell others about Absolutely. Jesus. It's, it, should be your, it should be your duty. Everyone who has experienced a wonderful, enlightening thing should go out and tell other people. After we finish this interview, will you share more about this Jesus with me? I would. I would love to. May I say a quick prayer? Sure, and sure. And then will you stay and tell me more about this Jesus? I would love to. God of Cornelius and Peter and other disciples, thank you for loving all of us. Please help us share your love with other people, just like Peter and Cornelius have done. Let their example be for all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much for being here on the five-minute update for the kids of Aldersgate. Thank you for sharing your story with them and with me. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you.